Hello everybody. In example 5.3, we look at something that is kind of amusing, and I believe that if you were to show it a couple of centuries ago, they would call you a uh, magician and burn you. Anyway, uh, we are going to prove that we can lift a weight with just current. So one thing I want to do is create a box with a magnetic field that points inside uh, of the page, so I'm just going to mark it the same way the current is marked when it's inside the page, which is a uh, circle and an X in it. And this, of course, is everywhere around the uh, box. Anyway, and then we have a mass at the bottom, uh, M, just hanging on a current, uh, sorry, on a wire that is actually not touching anything. It just goes, oops. Let me do another color so it's a little bit easier to see. It just cools up in this box, so this magnetic field, and touches nothing. And we know that this, this side is equal to A. So now, we know that the magnetic field points inside of the page, and we want a force that goes up. So if we were to do it in an X, Y, and Z system, uh, we have the magnetic field that points inside the page and so i just call this z y and x uh, and so magnetic field points inside of the page we want the force up out uh, going up then the current has to be flowing along the uh, x direction given by the uh, uh, right hand rule because of course you have to point your uh, thumb uh, towards the uh, force that you want to have, so up, and then you have to point your index towards the magnetic field, and we get the that the, oh, sorry actually the current has to be uh, actually sorry my bad has to be flowing to the other, toward the other side. Um, well. Actually, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, because we're going to have the uh, the current working anyway. But no, let's just, let's just point it towards towards the left for right now. Yeah. Um, so uh, we want the force up the so the thumb going along the force, so pointing up the magnetic field or index going inside the page, and our current is going to be our index. That's going to be our uh, middle finger. And of course, this is what you said is the current. So therefore, the current that the count is well this part right here, but it's not inside the uh, magnetic field, so it doesn't count. And but this one right here. So if we look at the formula that we found before, which is equals to the integral of i. Actually, let me use the formula that we used before. So i is already outside. Dl cross b. Because um, DL, of course, is in the direction of the current, so it works for us. Anyway, um, we can see that DL that is in uh, the direction that we want is this area that we just, let me do another color, so just use it. There was this, this one right here. This is the section of wire that is going to be useful for us. And how long is it? Well, it's, on, it's equal to A. We just said it right here. So we can just say the force has to be equal to current times the uh, magnetic field times times A. This is it. This is uh, how easy it is. And of course, we know that the gravitational force is equal to mg. So you want the gravitational force and the uh, magnetic force to be equal to each other. So we just put I B A is equals to M G and therefore we can find that the current is equals to B A over M G. Uh, and this is very easy. Now it is not actually so easy to do it. Uh, not because this formula is incorrect, but just because the actual magnetic field that you want to have, that you need to have, and, and the current that you need to have are going to be uh, very, very large. Um, 
However, it is something you could do if you wanted to. Anyway, one other thing that we start talking about is what if we wanted to actually move the um, <clears throat> the um, the mass upwards? So not only we don't let it fall down, but we want to move it upwards. Well, then we have to uh, just multiply the force that we're doing times the height that we're moving. It. So it's going to be equals to I B A times H. But as we said, the magnetic force and the magnetic force does not do any work. And this, of course, it goes to the work because it's a force over a distance. So how does it do work? Well, it is actually quite complicated to see, but I'll show you. So once our uh, mass starts moving, so let's say it starts moving upwards, and we have a magnetic field that is going inside. Now, as you can see, there is no actual force given by it. But if the um, but if the um, uh, if the object starts moving, then our magnetic field actually bends a little bit, um, and therefore now we don't have a ninety degree angle anymore. We're gonna have some work, just because the uh, just because the uh, the, the, the the mass is now moving in uh, more than one direction, pretty much. Um, I hope that was clear so far. Uh, this is pretty much what you need to understand about it. Uh, the work is not really what you need to understand, as long as you understand, as long as you accept that the magnetic field does work, um, you're good with it. Uh, of course, you can see everything else works out because we just proved our uh, formula worked. And I hope this was fun. Let me know if you have any questions.